couple of other issues that I would like to touch on while we have the time. Um, I, I'm going to quote from a from a, a column that you wrote uh, last year, I believe it was, on the same-sex marriage issue. He said, I'm fortunate to have been given a second chance by way of this process, which was, I believe, the referendum, to categorically state that I am in favour of same-sex marriage as all human beings under God's and universal law have every right of equality. Yeah. Why, what prompted the change of heart? Because you were against the original uh, bill, and I forget the name of it. Well, uh, as I explained to people, I was always in favour of same-sex marriage. Well, I've got so-called adopted sons. People come, my, my children's friends come to the house and everything else. And some of my adult contemporaries and friends are, you know. So, I, so they're all, you know, all homosexual. I, I, I have no problems with it. There was a different set of circumstances. The churches, we, we, we knew we could pass the vote. So it was a question of, and my, so mine was a political decision to decide that once we got down to the essence, I knew the vote, knew the vote was there, that we would give some sympathy to the question. We wouldn't just throw the churches under the bus. Uh, and I therefore cast my vote against it, knowing that it was going to pass, if mm. I thought it wasn't going to pass. And maybe I should have been more principally committed, and regardless of what the vote was, stood on my principle. I didn't. And, and I, it, I've, never, I've never sort of thought that I had really did the right thing at the time, because I should have stood for what I believed in, as opposed to trying to please both ends. And, end up, and I ended up in the middle. If you believe in, in, in whether it's Darwin, and Darwin is talked about this, this species, not only sort of human beings, but all animals. And the law of probability of all animals being born exactly the same is not true. But we're all, we're, uh, all include any beast, all things. Uh, we are the children of God. If you believe in God, you believe that we are all his children. If you believe that we are all his children, you you should believe the fact that when 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 one is different, whether they've got polio, whether they've got something, they need, they're entitled to get as much care and as much attention as anybody else. What people are trying to do, they're trying to separate homosexuality from anything else in nature. And you can't. The laws of nature are the laws of nature. The laws of creativity are the laws of creativity. And there is a parallel in the relationship between the two. And therefore, to make a distinction saying a homosexual person is a non-person in a normal sense is a nonsense. We have a law in our books called the Human Rights Act. And the Human Rights Act makes it very clear that we are bumping up against the Human Rights Act in Bermuda. We're bumping up against the Human Rights Act in Europe and everywhere else. We, and yet, at the same time, we're saying we want these people to come to Bermuda, but we want them to be what we consider normal as opposed to what they are, being just naturally normal. I think we are barking up the wrong tree. I, the churches have ideological, ideological ideas that somehow or the other, a person is not a real person unless they are a certain way. I think on this matter the churches are wrong, the fundamental, and I think Bermuda is being looked upon as being really out of step, particularly since we are such a big international center, we enjoy a very high standard of living, mm. we enjoy all the things that, 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 um, that, that regardless of what a person is, we've enjoyed, but my suspicion is slowly as technology and information reaches the world, and the growth that we'd like to have, because we don't have that, will slowly be diminished. There's only so much to go around. As we know, 90% of the world's wealth now is controlled by less than 1% of so, the world's yeah. population, yep. which means the fact that these key people in the world that are making decisions about the world, these big conglomerates are being run by, and most of those have make it very clear that they have no issues with homosexuality. So what's going to happen is, slowly, in a subtle way, that we'll be diminished by 
by taking a position that is contrary to human rights and human natural laws of nature because a few people say that somehow or the other nature got it wrong. Mm -hmm. it, 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 what a contradiction. And I cannot bring myself, that's so I've taken a position that very simply says the fact that Bermuda, let's get ourselves into the 21st century. We've got big issues to deal with, and we should not be marginalizing people as a result of a ideological bend that says the fact that if I believe in, if I, if I subscribe to something, I must believe in somebody's interpretation of perceptions and defy and deny somebody else the right of a normal process. The referendum, uh, not enough people turned out to vote at the referendum on saying so it's managed to make it count. Well, why do you think that was? But, you know why? Because the referendum was very, I was confused. The referendum didn't ask one question, it asked two questions. Yeah. And those two questions confused the hell out of people. And nobody wants to admit that some of those decisions were wrong. It was very confusing. The referendum should have been very simple. I mean, <coughs> the referendum talking about civil marriage, right, and a, a, um, and a, and a non-civil marriage, which means the church. So that you, w you would have had it where the church was the compelled to do it, and that's fine. That's an individual choice. But the state could do it. What we should have said, do you believe that the state, mm. this should be a responsibility of the state or this is a responsibility of the, or if we get, get over the, we leave the church of their responsibilities, but the state shouldn't be absorbed from its responsibility. Mm. And that's where the thing had a fundamental flaw in it. Would you like to see it repeated? I mean, regardless of the cost, we'll just take that out of the equation, because I think there was a... Uh, well, I mean, at the moment, we're sitting here, we're sitting on a potentially a case before the courts. We are, yeah. We're waiting for the judgment. And so. if the judgment comes down, I mean, keep in mind that that can be taken all the way to England, to, to the, the European Court. Yeah. Well, the European Court, uh, they've already ruled on homosexuality. British have already ruled on homosexuality. We're only sitting here as a, as a mole, um, basically hoping that somehow or the other somebody is not going to pay attention to us. But the reality is we're out of step with what's going on in other places.